Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. And before we get into today's episode, a lot of people might be thinking, Jay, why are there a row of cherry blossoms going up to the school? Well, long time Yandere Simulator players know that there used to be a row of awesome cherry blossoms right to the path to school, and they're back. And I'm glad that they're back because I missed these fuckers. I missed all you big guys, all right? Did you guys miss me? No? Well, whatever, who cares? They're back. We're back. We haven't played Yandere Simulator in a while, and I'm excited to do the matchmaking. I was so excited that I downloaded the build right away, and I jumped right into it. Good idea, right? Wrong. Bad idea, because I didn't know what the fuck to do. This shit was so complex that it took me, I kid you not, over an hour and a half to actually figure out how to do everything. And my recording was all over the place because I didn't know what to do. But now I feel like I'm a little bit better at this matchmaking method. So I'm gonna try to explain it as best as I can. All right, so right now we are outside of the cooking club. Kakona is making her infamous Octo Dogs, and this dude, who's head over heels for Kakona, is watching her make those Octo Dogs. You can basically say that this guy is a damn dog. He's probably watching her going. <laughs> but our job is not to stand here and watch him watch her. We are supposed to help this guy get with Kakona so we can basically eliminate Kakona as a rival to getting Senpai. I saw the most peculiar thing today. There was a kitten walking around the school. I'm not sure how it got in here. It was quite an adorable little creature. I wish I could get a second look at it. If you see that kitten anywhere, would you mind taking a picture of it for me? Okay, so this guy wants a picture of the kitten. Of course, we're going to accept the task. It's good to find someone else who shares my appreciation for felines. Best of luck to you. Alright, so when I recorded this the first time, I was kind of like, why does this Japanese guy have a British sounding voice? But then I was like, you know what, whatever, it's just a game, who cares, right? But then I'm like, eh, is there any Japanese people that have British sounding voices? I don't know. I don't really know. If any of you guys are from Japan and have a British accent, let me know in the comments below. But now we got the picture of the kitty, so let's go show our guy. Hey buddy, I got something to show you. Yes, that's it. That's the kitten I saw. Hmm, it appears to be in good health. How delightful. I still can't get over that this guy has a British voice. Anyway, now that we completed his task, we also need to do the task for Kakona so we can unlock the love option for her too. So let's talk to her. And you guys already know which one this is. She can't fit into her uniform because she got some big old bitties. So we need to get a new uniform from Infochan. What do you Like so, and also... This shit stumped me for a long time. If you want to do matchmaking, make sure, make fucking sure you get this headset or else you will not be able to do this. So let's get those and let me complete Kakona's task real quick. La 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 la. There you go, Yandere-chan. Make sure you get it loose on the chest because she got those double dams. And now that I know that he has a crush on Kakona, I can tell her to meet at the courtyard. Someone wants to meet you at the East Fountain. I think they're your type. Okay, I'll go there right now. And then I was like, all right, so this is basically what the matchmaking is. And boy, was I dead wrong. I'm going to show you the mistake that I made. And then you'll see why I fucked up so epically. Where's this guy? I know he like walks around the whole school for some reason. So let's turn the corner. And there he is. Okay, so let's tell him that Kakona's over there. She's at the East Fountain. Take this earpiece and go there. I'll give you advice. Oh, really? I'll head over there right away then. All right, cheerio, mate. Top, top to you then. I'm going to meet you over there. I'm going to race your ass over there. Oh, shit. He's hella fast. Wait, where is he? Oh, no. I'm racing you. You're not going to beat me to it. Kakona's mine. She's my lover. I love you, Kakona. Okay, now that you get the two potential lovers to meet, you got to hide behind this tree. I mean, like, they can't even see you behind this tree. And then... You know, it goes into like a secret agent Yandere mode. It's like, hello, Riku, can you hear me? Copy? Yes, I hear you. All right. Feed me the info then and I'll try to impress the fuck out of Kakona. And then once this happens, you see negative remark, positive remark, compliment, show off, give gift, finish. And I was like, all right, so let's just uh, dazzle her. Let's razzle and dazzle her. Let's talk about a negative remark. But then I saw this shit and I was like, okay... Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? And I just started clicking random things and she wasn't really impressed. For example, let's talk about cats. 
Hey, just so you know, I take offense to that. You see? You see how she's pissed off at that? That means she doesn't like that. And then positive remark. Obviously, we know she likes cooking. We definitely have the same opinion. And then you compliment her. You look cute. Twin tails are the best. Octodogs are great. That's a damn lie, but obviously she would like that. Saki Miyu looks nice. Don't ever say that. Like, people in real life, if you're watching this, if you're trying to compliment a girl, don't ever talk about their best friends because that's just a ticket to a kick in the nuts. Your panties suit you. I accidentally clicked Saki Miyu seems nice. My fat finger slips, so blame it on my fat finger. Cupcakes are great. I don't know if that's like a suggestive comment. Cupcakes are great? What the fuck? Who says cupcakes are great? You're supposed to be complimenting Kakona, not cupcakes. Twin drills are the best, and you look sexy. Something pervy that I would say personally, but if you're trying to impress a girl, please don't say that. So we are going to try to be, you know, very nice to her. We're going to say Octodogs are great. Really? You like them? I'm happy to hear that. I was afraid they were considered childish. And then the show-off thing, when I first recorded this, I was like, how the fuck do I demonstrate strength, wisdom, and courage? They're all zeros, just like this guy, he's a straight-up loser. So I couldn't do any of that. And then give gift is actually, you're supposed to get one of the roses from the bushes. I forgot to give that. And let's finish this because the real matchmaking is something that I didn't even know was going to be this detailed. It is one of the most awesome things that has been implemented into this game. And I cannot wait to see how much this develops. So basically what we need to do, we got to get Kakona to follow us around the whole school. And when I looked at the blog notes, it says that Kakona has five interests and five disinterests. And at first I was kind of like, okay, so we know she likes the cooking club. We know that Saki is one of her good friends. Like, I kind of have a feel of what she likes. But at the top of your screen, you're really going to figure out what she likes. This is what I'm talking about. So let's pass by the cooking club. Like so. Nope, that's not going to work. Okay, let's pass by... Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let's pass by the cat. Because remember how we mentioned that we didn't like the cat thing and then she said she takes offense to that? She actually likes cats. So we're going to bring her over here and you guys are going to see that it's going to say learn opinion. So that means when we bring up the student info, we can see that Kakona, she has a smiley face next to the freaking kitten. And we got to do that for all these other things throughout the school. And at first I was kind of like, what do I do here? And I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, well, you should have watched Yandere Dev's video. Well, sometimes when I record things, I just like to go in blind and figure it out myself and go along through that way. But with the matchmaking thing, you can't just go in blind. So right now, I'm going to run around the school with Kokona, and we're going to try to figure out all the things that she has smiley faces with and all the things that she doesn't really like. So as you guys can see, we learned an opinion about her and the occult club. She hates the occult club. She thinks these mother suckers can go die. And then this knife thing, I don't really know what that is, but she doesn't like that either. Oh, and another thing, when she likes a guy, she'll show it. She's not shy. Like, for example, she likes this guy over here, and look at her face. Look at that face. She's like looking at him. She's horny as fuck. She's like, oh, yeah. Give it to me, a cold clump, baby. Oh, yeah. So her face is blushing. She got the hearts over her head, and she just loves this guy. And at first, I was kind of like, why does she keep looking at this guy? Why the fuck is she doing that? Well, basically... She likes this guy because he has glasses. And with the whole matchmaking thing, it's all about process of elimination. If you guys could think about the matchmaking elimination method in that way, then it's going to be much easier. Because as you guys can see, he has dark purple hair. He's reading a book. He also has dark purple hair and reading a book. But Kakona, she doesn't really feel any type of way towards this guy. Because as you guys can see, her face isn't really turning a different color when she's looking at this dude. Same thing with this guy. She doesn't like these two Fuck boys right here but this guy she's going goo goo gaga over him and it's because of the glasses she's digging the four eyes look at that face she likes the glasses and once you figure out some of the things that kakona likes you got to be like hey bruh kakona likes this and that so you got to change your appearance as you guys can see there's slick hair spiky hair piercings bandanas blondes glasses jewelry shades tans all that shit this guy is willing to change his whole fucking appearance for this girl maybe even his name maybe if she's a lesbian he'll get a freaking sex change but right now we know for a fact that she likes dudes with glasses 
So we are gonna pick that. And just to save everybody the time, she also likes slick hair, and she also likes piercings. There you go, yeah. She likes those three things, so we are gonna confirm that. And I'm telling you guys, it took me a fuckload long time to figure out those things that Kakona likes. And I'll show you the guy that Kakona really likes. He is inside the library. He's right here. This handsome freaking devil could be a model. He's probably gonna be a model after he graduates high school. Like, look at those eyes. Look at that. Those are some pretty ass eyes. And she likes the hair. She likes the slick back hair. I'm gonna bring Kakona in here so you can see how much she's loving this dude. All right, before I show you guys the blonde slick back haired dude, look at what Kakona's doing. This is what she does when she's attracted to people. She freaking does like the exorcist 180 degree turn and her face is like into her freaking back. I mean, you can make this happen if like you're around someone that she's attracted to. She'll like look in their direction. Like, let me see. There you go, see, she'll look in their direction, and then you can make her head turn in all crazy ass ways. Maybe you guys could find like the craziest way she can turn her head. But like I said, Kakona is in love with this guy. And at first I was like, why does she keep looking at his hair? Does she like his hair or like what? Is she like smelling the shampoo that he uses? Is she like, mm, smells like Dove? I don't know, I mean, he's a handsome guy, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, she's attracted to him, and she's also attracted to this guy right here. Look at that. Look at that shit. She's looking right at him. If someone was staring at me while I was reading a book, I'd be like, what the fuck are you looking at? But anyway, she likes these types of guys. And I was wondering, what does she like about this guy? Because I remember in the occult club, they all had books. And this guy has a book, and she wasn't attracted to guys who had books. But she's attracted to his knowledge. Yes, his motherfucking knowledge. She's attracted to knowledge. And I'm kind of like, how many things are you attracted to? Do you like everything? Like, I know girls personally that like everything. Are you one of those girls? But yeah, she likes knowledge. So what we got to do, we got to go back and get that guy that has a crush on her. And we got to raise up his knowledge. Hey, British Japanese guy, you got to follow me. We gotta raise up your knowledge. So as you guys can see right here, this book is not the Bible. It is the Boost Suitor Intelligence. And basically we're gonna tutor this dumb motherfucker and we are gonna make him smarter. And I'm not gonna lie to you, Yandere and this guy seem like a way better match than Senpai. It looks like they're actually like crushing on each other pretty hard. But it just says, Yandere-chan helps Rikusoma study Rikusoma's intelligence that increases. And that's what you need to do to impress Kakona. But anyway, we told this guy to change his appearance for Kakona. We said that he needs to have slick hair, piercings, and glasses. We are going to confirm that, and we are going to see what he looks like the next day. Guys, look at this dude. This guy is that motherfucking dude. Fuck Senpai. This dude is the real deal. If Kakona doesn't like that slick back purple hair, the glasses, and the earrings, man, I don't know what will. This guy is a straight up panty dropper. Holy crap, Infochan would love this guy because he's gonna have so many panties thrown at him. But anyway, he looks the part, but he also has to walk the walk. So what I'm gonna do, you guys see the bush full of roses right here? I'm gonna grab a rose, and I am going to give it to him, but... We need to wait for him to do the locker thing because you can't talk to anyone. You can't disturb them when they're doing their locker thing. So there you go. Let's talk to him. Wait, why can't I talk to you? Why the fuck can I talk to you? Hey, why can't I talk to you? Oh, and another thing. If you guys are wondering, how did I know that Kakona likes people with earrings? It's because when I brought her to the circle of fucks, she liked this guy and not any of these guys. And the difference is he has an earring. And you might be thinking, oh, he's probably one of those high school students that's going through that experimental phase where he's like, oh yeah, maybe if I get an earring, girls will think I'm totally badass. Which is true. I have earrings, and I always thought I'd be badass. But yeah, I can't seem to talk to any students, so I'm going to try to fix that, and I'll be right back. All right, so to fix that problem where I couldn't talk to any of the students, basically I just restarted the day. Anyway, back to where we were. We gotta give this guy the gift of the rose. Take this, give it to her later as a gift. She'll appreciate it. She will? Thank you so much. I'll be sure to remember that. Yeah, remember that. And anyway, we still have to figure out all the things Kakona likes and dislikes. And let me just show you what I mean about her liking this dude with the earring. So you bring her to this group, and look at that. Look at that. 
She's crushing on this dude so hard. She keeps looking at the back of their heads too, like she's in love with the back of their skull. What about him? You like him? Hey, matchmaking Jay is in the building. She's loving this guy. Oh man, I feel like the ultimate matchmaker. I'm proud of myself. But anyway, we still got things to do, so let's get it started. And to be honest, guys, when I was recording this the first time, I didn't actually get all five interests from Kokona, so I don't really know exactly what she likes and dislikes. I only figured out a few, so when she learns something new right now, that's gonna be new to me because I don't know exactly what the fuck she likes. Do you like student council? Do you think anything about student council? Nope, no opinion on that. What about calligraphy? Do you give a dog shit about calligraphy? No, Kokona? Okay, me neither. Biology, does that tickle your fancy? Art room, no. What about science club? That's gotta make you feel some type of way, right? Science club? Kokona, do you like science? No? Do we actually have to go inside here for her to learn? Like, our opinion of her? Oh, she's doing the head turn thing. Look at this. She's doing the head thing. The exorcist shit. Oh my god, you creepy ass. Uh, what about Info Club? Do you care about Info Club? Can we check on Info Chan? Nope. Same old, same old. What about photography? Do you like it? No? And like I said, guys, if she knows something or like likes something or dislikes something, then it'll say learn opinion instead of learn new topic. What about gaming? Are you attracted to Ryoto without the headband? No? No, she doesn't give two shits about Ryoto. I guess Ryoto's ugly as fuck. What the fuck is this? Floating delinquent wigs? <laughs> Floating delinquent wigs and their weapons. What in the fuck? And they can still push me. Ghost delinquents. Well, at least these girls are in full form. Can you move, bitch? I'm not trying to be pushed by a floating wig. Get these away! can still push me, right? All right, there you go. Maybe we gotta bring Kakona around here. Scramble, Maybe she'll give sorry. an opinion on what she thinks about the delinquents. All right, here we go, guys. And the fact that this dude has, like, slick hair and earrings and glasses, he is gonna get his multiplier raised whenever he, you know, compliments or gives her a gift. So hopefully we are in the go. Yep, five multiplier. So let's pick a negative remark. And then let's talk about solitude because I know she doesn't like that. Yeah, I feel the same way. All right, now for a positive remark. Let's talk about, um, what else does she like? She doesn't like a cult. She doesn't like martial arts, reading, cosplay, anime, memes, violence, science, school, fuck. Let's pick, uh, memes. Um, all right, okay, fuck, she doesn't like memes. Compliment her and tell her, you look cute. Y you really think so? Nobody's ever called me that before. Well, I'm calling it to you right now, Missy. Let's show off our wisdom. Wow, you're very well informed. And then let's give her the rose. A rose? I love these. I can't get enough of them. And basically for today, we've done all we can to raise our affections. So I think we got to go back the next day and basically just rinse and repeat. All right, let's start with a negative remark. Let's talk about the occult club and how much we hate it. You took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, fuck those occult club losers. Positive remark. Um, I don't really know what to say about a positive remark. Maybe she likes theater. Um, all right, okay, never mind. Let's compliment her and say twin drills are the best. Oh, you think so? I'm glad you feel that way. I wasn't sure if they were silly. Okay, now she's starting to turn a little bit pink, and that is a double thumbs up. That's a good thing. Let's show off our wisdom again. Whoa, you must be an expert on this subject. And then, ah oh shit, I forgot to give him the rose. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep rinsing and repeating this. I'm gonna try to keep increasing this every single day, and let's see what happens when the meter is at its max, because I haven't personally seen that yet. I just know how to do the method now. I don't know what happens when it finally goes to the top. All right, it's a new day. Another time for a negative remark. I know for a fact that she does not like violence. You took the words right out of my mouth. Now the positive shit is the one that's hard to me because I don't know what else she likes. Does she like cosplay? All right, no, okay, Kakona seems like she doesn't like shit. What the fuck? Compliment, let's tell her that your stocking suit you. 
I'm glad you like them. I'm glad the school lets me wear them. Let's show off our wisdom again. You could be a professor and teach a class about this. Okay, I don't know about that, Kakona. Stop kissing ass. Let's give the rose again. You're so sweet. Thank you so much for this. And let's finish. So, we're almost there. A couple more days of just bullshitting Kakona. And I think we should win our hearts. Alright, let's try this for the hundredth time. Negative remark. Let's talk shit about martial arts. Okay. Positive remark. Let's talk about photography. Alright. Compliment. Twin tails are the best. Uh, well, go tell- Oh, fuck me. I forgot she only has the drill tails. Show off our wisdom and give a gift. That's basically all we can do right now is show off and give a gift because we're running out of negative, positive, and complimentary things to tell Kokona. Okay, this should be the final time. Let's skip all the remarks and just show off our wisdom. You know, it's really dreamy when a guys know as much as you do. Give a gift. Did you know that it was my lifelong fantasy to receive a rose from a guy? Hee <laughs> hee. All right. Now that we got it all maxed out, let's finish this. You have to go? Oh, that's too bad. I would really love to spend more time with you. There you go. Okay. So I don't think we can raise it up anymore. Let's end the day and then let's see what happens. Okay. We are at school on Friday and he is not with her or he's not next to her. Let me fast forward time and hopefully like they interact with each other or are they not going to interact with each other until after school because it's Friday now it's the deadline so basically we eliminated our rival and yeah she's going to her group and he's going to his group so let me just go to the end of the day and let's see if they interact with each other look at this shit I got her to like you and you're still stalking her while she's making her octo dogs I'm starting to think that you're a sick fuck and you get turned on by this shit weirdo Okay, you know what, let's fast forward time and hopefully they, they hold hands or they kiss or do something because I went through all that trouble, I went through all those days to make you guys fall in love and you're going about your business like you don't even know each other? What the fuck? Alright, it's 5.20, Kakona is now leaving the school, hopefully she does something, please, 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 yes, she is, okay, there you go. She's blushing, she's looking around, she's like, okay, I gotta make sure nobody sees me put exactly nothing into that locker, and now she's running away. All right, perfect! Now we just gotta wait for our star guy to find whatever she just put inside of his locker. Let's go! <laughs> Fucking finally! This took me forever to do, guys. I haven't seen this yet. I am so excited. I'm as excited as you guys. So hopefully he'll see the thing real quick. Oh, there he is, there he is. Hey, buddy! Hey, pal, what did she get you? Yeah, what's in there? Oh, nothing. A whole bag of nothing. Yeah, I'd look at my hand like that, too. Is that your fapping hand? Yeah, that's what you're gonna have to do if you don't get Kakona. All right, yeah, put it in your back pocket. All right, so right now, there's only one place this guy is going. He has a one-way ticket to Funky Town. Kakona is at his destination. And let's do this, guys. I'm freaking excited. Finally, we got this to work. So as you guys can see right now, he is tired as fuck from running up this baby dick hill. Kakona, she's just chilling over here. And I'm assuming that we... Do we talk to him? Can we talk to him? No, I can't talk right now. Okay, so let's just fast forward time and watch the magic happen. This is the part where the game will determine whether or not the player has eliminated their rival. This game is still in development. The player eliminated rival state has not yet been implemented. Thank you for playtesting Yandere Simulator. Please check back soon for more updates. Oh god, please play the cutscene or I will die. No! What the fuck? No way. How are we supposed to get the checkpoint to work? There we go. Alright, so I tried it again. And basically, you gotta run up behind them as he's running up to Kokona. Anyway, Kokona meets Riku under the Sakura tree. Kokona confesses that she has developed deep feelings for him. Aw, yeah, get it, boy! Riku tells Kokona that he feels the same way about her. Okay, get it, girl! Kokona and Riku share a tender kiss as Sakura blossoms fall around them. That's sweet. Cool! 
And now the school looks very, very light, which is awesome. And look at these two lovebirds. Can I talk to them? Nope. I can't do shit. But they're in love. They are two people in love. And she's still given the peace signs. All right. <laughs> So anyway guys, that is what the matchmaking update is all about. Very brilliant idea, very detailed, very specific. I'm loving the direction of where this game is going. Also, I forgot to mention that after all of this plays out, the following days at school, they'll be holding hands when they're walking to school, and during lunch, they'll be on top of the roof just sitting on the bench, and then after school, he'll still be spying on Kokona making those octodogs. I guess he really gets turned the fuck on when she is making those octodogs. But that is going to do it for the Kokona and Riku matchmaking. There is still the Pippi and Ryoto matchmaking that I'm gonna do in another episode, because as you guys can tell by this video, it took me a very long time to, you know, get everything to all be put together at once. And if you guys really enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you could give this video one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!